police found Emma by the Empress Hotel, shoeless, and started asking questions. Where, where are you going? You're not wearing shoes. Her response was, I'm, I'm uh, working through some things right now. I'm just going for a walk, and then I'm going to go to a friend's house. Sergeant Jamie McRae is leading the investigation into her disappearance. They asked her um, some fairly pointed questions about her, her well-being. Um, you know, are you feeling depressed or sad? Um, and she said, no, she wasn't. They asked her very specifically, are you feeling suicidal at all? Uh, are you feeling not healthy? And she said no. And, and they also asked her about feeling homicidal. Are you feeling like you could do something to somebody else? And she said no. The police said their hands were tied, so they let her go on her way. But Shelley Filipov says the officers should have used their common sense. They just let her go off into the night. Well, what happens to a person who's that vulnerable, who's wandering around in the night? Truck drives by, she hitchhikes or doesn't, the truck pulls over and says, it's midnight, there's this woman. Emma's longtime friend Marie Flanagan agrees. Emma is a beacon and has always drawn the, the most wonderful and the creepiest people to her. And that is something that makes me nervous because someone could very easily take advantage of that. But Emma's own words, a journal entry they uncovered, would lead police in a new direction. Maybe it was suicide. To everyone. From dead Emma. Hello. I figure someone will be on this computer at some point and will read this. Okay. So I'm dead. Floating about on energy or not. Watching dying stars, reviving stars and dreaming milky dreams and shadow dancing on your timelines or whatever. Good luck, every heart. I love you, M. I can honestly say that I really do not believe that Emma took her life. She, there were times that she loved life more than anything. I, just, I, don't, I don't believe it, Mark, for a second. Not for a second, no. Well, it's no surprise her own mother won't believe Emma committed suicide. But what about the team of experts we assembled to help our investigation? We showed them Emma's cryptic note and asked them to weigh in. I mean, this does not look like a suicide note. No, there's no specificity. There's no uh, planning. There's you know, so all the elements that we'd look at if we're concerned about a person that we may have to intervene because we're concerned they're either going to attempt to harm themselves or are, are, are suspicious they might try and end their lives. We don't see any of that. Right. I agree with Mike here. There's nothing in it that re- reflects a suicide note at all. However, Victoria Police pursued the suicide theory, sending divers into the harbour three times to look for her body, weeks after she disappeared. 